Gorgeous Extensions Theater on Sailor Rock in downtown Montreal. So tonight's pilot episode of The Fix is all about citizenship. And we have some great guests lined up to talk to us about the different aspects of being a responsible citizen. On the show tonight, a special performance by this summer's Fringe Festival mega-hit success, Dance Animal! <laughs> T-shirt activist Matt Stalin from the Yellowbird Project. Yeah. Alona Doherty from Applebee's Boring is here. Yeah. And, 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 come on, please. Ready? JT Ready? is here. Oh, no, not that one. No, not that one. Yeah, yeah. Justin Trudeau, everyone. Yeah. So get ready for a great show because this is The Fix. From political and economic issues to social and environmental crisis, it seems that everywhere we turn, all we hear, read, or see is bad news. Well, this show is about the good news. This show is about how people are responding to the challenges our world is facing today. This is The Fix. So, citizenship. What is it? What does it even mean? Well, we're all considered citizens if we're born here and if we have a Canadian passport, right? But there's actually a pretty big responsibility behind being a responsible, good citizen. First of all, we're not just citizens of Canada, we're citizens of the whole world, along with the other six billion people on the planet, so pressure's on. Many of us assume our role as a global citizen every day without even knowing it. And there's fun and easy ways to do it. We can use our voice to get our opinions out there, get involved in the political process, volunteer with an organization, responding to issues that are important to us, and even fundraise for a worthy cause. All of tonight's guests exemplify these different aspects of citizenship. And as a citizen, we have fun teasing politicians all the time, but they have a pretty, pretty hectic schedule. And we had the chance to spend the day with Justin Trudeau and watch what a day of, of a politician is really like. So let's take a look at JT's day. Meet Justin Trudeau. Some know him as former Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau's eldest son. Justin used to live a more private life as a high school teacher in BC. But after he delivered a moving eulogy at his father's funeral on October 3rd, 2000, he sparked the attention of a bigger crowd. And that's when I understood just how powerful and wonderful my father was. Soon after, Justin began encouraging youth engagement as a member of Katimovic's board of directors. Today, he's entered the world of politics as Papineau's Liberal Member of Parliament. Hi, this is Justin Trudeau and this is a day in my life exclusively on The Fix. At the same time, Justin continues to speak out to the youth across Canada about the environment, education, and the importance of active citizenship. How do you create a sense of involvement in society and empowerment in society by young people? If you have someone who's engaged and active and aware of their importance in the world, they will almost act naturally get more and more politically outspoken and involved as well. Justin is carrying the legacy of the Trudeau name, but at the same time, making one that stands on its own. Meetings, speeches, conferences, luncheons, and some family time in between. Hey the day of a politician is always fully booked. As a servant of the people for Papineau, MP Justin Trudeau knows what it's like to juggle obligations. I'm, I'm always extremely busy, but with this line of work, if you're not extremely busy, then you're not doing something right. There's just not enough hours in the day. Just, you know, they're, they're, I, I never have enough time uh, to get everything done that I'd want to do. His day starts at 9am with a bit of paperwork, and by 11am, Justin's meetings begin. First in line this morning, Jeunesse Jécoute, also known as kids help phone. While some of his meetings are at the office, others are in and around his electoral riding of Papineau in eastern Montreal, Quebec. Next stop, a meeting with Eureka Art. This meeting is behind closed doors, so we'll have to ask Justin what it's all about. 
successful meeting. It was uh, a lot more about uh, integration and multiculturalism than I expected it to be. I, I... At this particular end of day, Justin spends a few minutes listening to local constituents. His door is quite literally always open. With such a heavy schedule, Justin still makes time to participate in events that are a big part of the life in the Papineau neighborhood. The clock's coming, so Justin Trudeau's running to catch up to him with his son. Let's go.
It's time for Q Cubed. Quick question quiz. You have one minute to answer these completely random questions. And you have to answer the first thing that comes to mind. So no thinking, just answer. Ready? Ready. Someone starting the clock? Ready? One, two, three, go. One. You come home late one night. You're not tired. What do you do? Go to sleep anyway, because the kids wake up at 5 o'clock every morning. <laughs> Two. Rolling Stones or Beatles? Stones. Where's the weirdest place someone has recognized you? Uh, Cody, Wyoming. <laughs> wow, that's weird. Describe to me in one word, Stephen Harper. <sighs> Bad hair. That's two words. Oh, sorry. Disrespectful. Oh, okay. If I gave you one million dollars, would you run for conservatives? It would take a little more money than that to okay. get the conservative party to change. What about NDP? I am NDP. I just, uh, you know, NDPs are too rushed. Two million um, per block? <laughs> well, it's, it's often been said that my father was a uh, 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 sovereignist. Quebec would be separate right now. Okay. Cheeseburger yeah, or Putin? Both. Definitely both. <laughs> okay. Name a TV show that you secretly enjoy. Oh. <laughs> so you think you can do it? Now, <laughs> it's my wife's fault, but I totally assume the fact that I love it. <laughs> Name the song and artist of this hit song. DJ? Haha, <laughs> Lady Gaga! For most of the day, you spent walking around with me, yeah. <laughs> when will you run for Prime Minister? Uh, in about 15 years, when Michael Ignatieff gets tired of doing such a great job as Prime Minister. Is it annoying when people ask you this question? Oh, yeah. Great. Mission accomplished. Excluding your father, name me 10 Canadian Prime Ministers. Uh, okay, chronologically in order from going oh. back here. Oh. Harper, Martin, Critchay, uh, Kim Campbell, uh, Brian Mulroney, Dad, Joe Clark, my father again, Lester Pearson, uh, Louis oh, Stephen Baker, Louis Saint Laurent, uh, Mackenzie King, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, you got it! 